Welcome. I'm going to show you how to edit the sticker mockup in Photoshop. So first you want to be using this layers panel here. So if you don't see the layers panel, just go to window and then click on layers to bring it up. And uh, depending on which mockup you purchase, the sticker may be a different shape, but they're all the same. So first you just want to click the arrow next to the sticker layer group in the layer panel and that'll expand the layer group. And then to insert your design, you just want to double click the thumbnail icon in the design dash sticker layer. And this is going to open up a smart object where you can copy and paste your design. And then I'll go to file open and open the design off the computer. You just want to click on select all and then edit copy to copy the design and then click back on the smart object tab and then go to edit paste. This might be bigger or smaller than you want so I'm just going to press control minus on a PC to zoom out. On a Mac it would be command minus and then I'm going to go to edit free transform and I'm just going to click and drag any of the four corners to resize it. In older versions of Photoshop, you used to have to hold down the shift key to keep it from getting distorted. So if yours is getting stretched, you might want to just go to edit, undo, and then do the opposite of whatever you're doing, whether that's holding down the shift key or not holding it down. And then once you've got it sized right, just go to file, save to save the smart object. And when it's done saving, you can click the X to close it and then click the X to close the original graphics. And you'll see it put your sticker design on the sticker just like that. Um, there's a few options here so you can customize this to your liking. If you want to have a border, you can click the box next to the border dash sticker layer to turn that layer on. And you can change the color and width of the stroke just by double clicking uh, the word stroke under effects. That's going to bring up our layer style panel. And with stroke selected here, you can click the color swatch, and that'll bring up a color picker. And then just click anywhere in the rainbow slider to change the color. And then click in the gradiated box to change the lightness and darkness of that color. You can also enter color values if you know them. Or you can kind of hover over your graphics and select a color right from there. If you wanted to change the width of the border, you could just click this little arrow next to size and just drag the slider to the right to make it wider or the left to make it uh, narrower. And if you really wanted to, you could change the fill type from color to gradient. And then you can go in here and pick a gradient. Where you could click on these little stops and click the color swatch and select all kinds of different colors to make your own custom gradient. You can also change the background color of the sticker. For instance, if you had a transparent file in here and you could see the background color. I'm just going to click the eye icon and the design dash sticker layer to hide that for a moment. And then we'll double click the thumbnail icon in the color dash sticker layer. And that's going to bring up a color picker where we can change the color of the sticker. And you just click in the rainbow slider to select a color. And in the gradiated box to change the lightness and darkness of the color. Or enter color values if you know them. You can also edit the shadows. So I'm just going to click the arrow next to the shadows layer group and then click on the shadow and click on the down arrow next to opacity and you can drag the slider to the right to make the shadow darker or the left to make it more subtle. And if you had like, you know, a darker design or a darker color, you might want the shadow to be darker. With it being white, you might want it to be lighter. 
depending on which mock-up you purchased, you might have different backgrounds available. So you can just click the arrow next to the backgrounds layer group to expand that. And then just toggle the eye icons on and off to uh, select the different background layers. And then when you're all done, um, if you want to save this on a website, you'll probably want a JPEG. So then you can just go to File, Save a Copy, and then under Save as Type, change PSD Photoshop to JPEG, and click Save. And that'll be a good file type for use for uh, thumbnails on websites. If you want the original layered PSD file with your graphics, you can just Go back to File, Save As, and then this time leave Save As Type as Photoshop, and maybe click there and change the file name, so you have a PSD with each year of your designs if you want. And that's all there is to editing the sticker mockup in Photoshop. Please message me at melissabmockups.com if you have any questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you get updates to future videos. And as always, this mockup and other mockups are available at melissabmockups.com. Thank you, and have a great night.